Hi, this is Jeff Lesher with What's the Point? And I'm at this slightly odd angle with not the optimal lighting, although it does mask my face, which is always a good thing, so that you can see rolls of discarded rugs. Rugs that were ruined last Thursday when my house for the second time in three years was flooded in an event that uh, I hope <clears throat> doesn't occur for more than three years hence because almost exactly to the day a month off we had the same circumstance where we live in a house this is the woe is me very nice house that was permitted by the jurisdiction in which we live washington dc and their sewer system does not have the capacity to deal with excess water at times and so the water goes where it can and I could be lamenting that and telling you all kinds of details about what we experienced and what we're going to experience. We're just in the process of recovering. And in reality, this is the worst problem that I have. And so in the grand scheme of things, it's not that bad. And it serves as a really interesting lesson on a variety of levels. One of which is, if you'll pardon this expression, shit happens, bad stuff happens, often out of our control and most often without any fault of our own. Other than the fact that we chose to live here, there's no fault. We, we just live in a place where periodically flooding is possible and it's happened to us twice. Fool me twice, shame on me. I'm not sure what fool me three times is, but we're probably gonna roll the dice on that and maybe make a couple more adjustments along the way. But I do wanna relate some elements of what the reaction is and can be when shit happens. So the first part is, what do you do? How do you handle yourself? There's an emotional reaction that borders between fear and helplessness and anger. Uh, and probably more, but those three for sure. So I said some choice words. I was anxious about what was happening and what I wasn't able to control, although I tried to take some actions in real time. And then there was a point at which it was clear that resistance was futile in terms of that moment. The flood was going to happen. So we literally went to higher ground. Then I did what I could do, which is to begin making the calls that are necessary in these circumstances. Remediation, mitigation and remediation to recover, insurance claims to file, uh, other sorts of planning that might be relevant if we had to vacate the house for a period of time, etc. So I took some action, I took some control in a limited way, but what I could do. And then, with the help of some family members, we moved into action such as we were able to act. So for example, all that carpeting, those rugs, they were holding a tremendous amount of water. Now there was no way to get all of the water out from the lower level of the house, technicality, but we could at least make it less terrible, at least for the period of time that was going to occur between that moment and our ability to get a remediation service out here which is something that takes a few days in most cases because there's a long line of people, even though that was one of the calls that I made. So we went from fear, helplessness, anger, to giving in to a certain extent and redirecting our energies, doing some things that we could control to set up a better future, and then taking as much action to mitigate, limit, reduce the damage, accelerate the process of cleaning up that we could using the tools available to us, which were incredibly imperfect, but there for our disposal. So if you take those lessons, we all face crisis and crisis is different things for different people at different times. And we have different reactions to it and it has different consequences. And in some macro sense, we're all living through a crisis in the moment. How are you feeling? Are you checking in with yourself and managing and channeling those emotions as productively as you can? Are you taking mitigating or at least immediate steps that can make the situation less bad, if not good? And then are you investing in the, the effort to make things better 
moving forward, ultimately recover from, and possibly, and in our case, I believe this will be true, based on some choices that we can make, will be better than we were before. In the moment, standing in the water, rising in my house, I didn't think that this would be a topic for what's the point Wednesday, but as I reflected on it, I thought that it in fact was uh, analogous to, if not a metaphor for, much of what all of us have been experiencing and some of us will continue to experience related to the pandemic and tangential to that and maybe totally unrelated from that. And I want all of us to be as prepared as possible to keep yourself on some even keel without denying that this sucks. Take action that you can in the moment that's as responsible and as productive as you can within reasonable and safe bounds and then lay the foundation as quickly as you can for the future because it's arriving starting the very next day. I believe my future is bright. I know yours is. Go get it. That is the point.